What up, world? It's your boy Jay Winks in the building. You are now in tune into the Wink Still channel. Doing it outside today is a beautiful day to do it outside. 72 out here. So, hey, I wanted to join today. You see the lighter fluid. I'm not doing the grill today. I got to work tomorrow. WrestleMania is on tonight, night one. NXT was on uh, Wednesday and Thursday night. Great pay per view. So, going on with the channels today. Hope y'all is enjoying this like I am. Day off work, just chilling, relaxing. Uh, was going to do something different for the channel after uh, finding out DMX had passed away. A legend, legend in the game, a hip hop culture, pop music, and everything like that. So I decided to do an audible today. So we're going to talk about DMX today a little bit. Now, I'm going to revisit this because, like I said, when I get to the vinyl, I only have one vinyl that I just got today. I'm going to open it in front of y'all and everything today, too. With this passing, like I said, I was at work, got on Twitter. I found out it was sad today, got home from work. Like DMX had on shuffle all day. That's all I was listening to. I mean, like. Growing up in that era when he came out, it was the shiny suits that was out at that time. Diddy was running the music, uh, and you didn't have it. I mean, you still had Mob Deep doing music, but DMX, that gritty, that raspy voice and stuff like that, it, it was something different at that moment in time, and I think hip-hop needed it. Uh, the first time I had heard of him, before he signed with Def Jam, the first time I heard of him was on a song called uh time to build it was off mike Ger geronimo's album that featured jay-z ja rule and dmx the album came out in 1995 like i said mike geronimo go look him up on spotify that's the first time i heard him when that was back in like 95 96 that was when yo mt raps came and you heard mike geronimo you heard about jay-z didn't hear about ja rule at that time or dmx but Hip hop, you went to go listen to albums that Yo MTV Raps would, you know, say, hey, go listen to this, or it was in the Source magazine. You go listen to those albums. So that was the first time I heard of him. Second time I heard of him was uh, on Mace Harlem World album. I think that came out in 96, 97. And that was actually the first time I had heard of a Neptune's beat, too, uh, looking at me on there so that was the first time i heard that but he was on a song called 24 hours to live then he did four three two one with ll cool j cannabis method man red man and cannabis and then the ll cool j and cannabis y club b started off from that and then he dropped the single off his he dropped get at me dog the first single off his album it's hell is dark but it's dark as hell is hot he had Rough Rider Anthem on there. Everybody knows that. X is Coming For You is one of my favorite songs. How's It Going Down? Then Started Something, featuring uh, The Locks and Mace. Uh, now, he dropped the second album the same year. Yes. I didn't get the date when he dropped uh, It's Dark As Hell It's Hot. But Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood came out in December in 98. Yes, so he turns around and dropped another album. That was the first time I think he was the first rapper, I think, who ever did that. I remember going to OinQ and buying that CD and was kind of surprised because usually it takes, back in the day, it would take rapper two, maybe a year to two to come out with another album. It's not like it is now where you can have multiple uh, projects dropping. I mean, like, it was only CD at that time and tapes and vinyls, so streaming services that came a long way. Uh, he went platinum on this album. Uh, he had Marilyn Manson on there too. That was weird. He had Slippin' on there, a banger. Uh, his third album, which is my favorite, one of my favorite albums, and then there was X, came out on December 21st, 1999. It went six time platinums. Uh, he had uh, What They Want featuring Cisco. His first five albums that he dropped were number one, 
and all of them went platinum or double platinum or triple platinum or like I said, six time platinum. Yes. So we know he was working on some new music that he we I I seen it as something that he was going to drop an album this summer. So maybe we'll still get it or maybe it'll be later after everything. But you know, wanted to do that. Went box. It's kind of a greatest hits. This came out in 2020. I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, actually, I'll open it for y'all, like I told y'all. One second. There you go. I got something else too, but I ain't gonna talk about that today. First time I'm opening it, so. Oh, it's red. Mm. Yeah, red vinyl right here, if y'all can see that. Yes, red vinyl. See if they got anything else in it. No, no inserts. Uh, like I said, mainly all these songs are taken off. Majority of the first six albums he dropped. So I will be going back and getting some DMX. Like I said, I was a big DMX fan. I really didn't talk about them that much. Like when I hear a DMX song, I, I then I wanted to start listening to everything DMX at that moment in time. And I was in junior high and high school when he came out after high school. He was still had songs in the club and stuff like that. So, yeah, R.I.P. DMX, a legend gone too soon. Uh, prayers for uh, Black Rob. He's in the hospital. He did a video. So he's in the hospital. So prayers for him. It's your boy, Jay Wings. This is a DMX tribute. Like I said, I'm going to be revisiting this episode and coming back and doing It's Dark As Hell Is Hot. I'm going to try and get the first three finals. So I'll be talking about this again. It's your boy, Jay Wings. I hope you all enjoying this beautiful Saturday afternoon. I holler. Remember, Bel Air Wings, my birthday. Facebook Live first and then something different for the YouTube channel. I'm out. One.